black pastors bullied by Obama and key Democrats and the IRS into not supporting Donald Trump. Black pastors bullied by Obama, key Democrats, and the IRS into not supporting Donald Trump. Thank you for tuning to the Black Political Buzz Network, and my name is Laurel. On this vlog, I want to discuss the recent events regarding a, me a scheduled meeting between more than 100 prominent black pastors from all over the USA and Canada who were scheduled to meet with the 2016 GOP presidential frontrunner Donald Trump. This meeting this was scheduled with Donald Trump, and it was supposed to be an endorsement meeting of Donald Trump for 2016. However, before the meeting took place, many of these prominent black pastors from all over the USA and Canada, some of them backed out. They, they, they received phone calls, and the mainstream media taunted them. I repeat, some of these pastors received phone calls from key Democrat leaders and from community leaders, and they also were taunted and pressured, pressured by the mainstream media into either, either not attending the meeting with Donald Trump or not endorsing Donald Trump. And that is a shame that in 21st century America, in 21st century America, you can no longer, if you are black, you can no longer choose to step outside of the, um, you know, of the, of the political box in terms of who you choose to support politically during elections. So if you're black and you choose not to support a Democrat, you will be crushed or bullied or targeted by the IRS per the Obama administration and Valerie Jarrett. Yes, I'm not going to. I'm not going uh, try to try to pretend that Valerie Jarrett, who was one of President Obama's key advisors, is not in on this. She is in on this because I've heard from people who have been to the black people who are leaders in the community who have been to the White House and met with her and, and communicated with Valerie Jarrett. These black people, black leaders said that if they if they try to, you know, get off the script if they try to get up get off of the script and say anything negative about obama or his administration or his policies that valerie jarrett gave them a warning or she gave let them know that um they were gonna pay if they got off script so she's behind this too so these black pastors some of them now are going to the media and bashing Donald Trump when they know in their hearts they do not dislike this man. I do not believe Donald Trump is a racist. Now, has Donald Trump made some derogatory, inflammatory statements about President Obama and other elected officials? Yes, but Donald Trump has made inflammatory, derogatory statements also about white politicians as well. There are many white people in public office on, in Congress, white politicians, white senators, who, press, who Donald Trump has also criticized and made derogatory statements about. So these, were, these are white people in Congress that, he has, that Donald Trump has bashed. That Trump has bashed. Are you going to say that Donald Trump is racist, racist now against white people too? No. This is a, some nonsense. Some mess. It's called dictatorship. Like Hitler. It's called bullying. It's called stifling First Amendment rights. I recently, I recently published or uploaded, I recently uploaded a video explaining how my network has been stifled by the Obama administration and key Democrats because I refuse to push gay marriage, same-sex marriage, the LGBT movement, and abortion. So these black pastors who really like Donald Trump and want to support Donald Trump, they were bullied and pressured into not 
supporting or endorsing Donald Trump because of being afraid of that their churches, that their churches would be severely, severely uh targeted by the IRS. And the IRS has now become President Obama's Gestapo. Yes, it has. He is using the IRS to punish people who speak out against his administration or his policies. Yes. Individuals in America or organizations in America, individuals in America or churches or organizations in America that speak out against President Obama's policies, whether they're black people, white people, whomever, they will be targeted by the IRS, including, including many churches. So these black pastors who probably really endorse uh, Donald Trump's economic platform and his courageousness, because the man is bold. Donald Trump is pushing strong business practices. He's pushing bringing America back from, from obscurity. Donald Trump is pushing getting rid of ISIS, excuse me, ISIL, getting rid of ISIL. Donald Trump is pushing building up our military again because President Obama has basically killed our military for whatever reason. For some reason, President Obama loves the Middle East more than he loves America. I don't know why. For some reason, Barack Obama Jr. loves the Middle East more than he loves America. I don't know why, but he, it, it, look at his policies. Look at his actions. He And then there, there are many, many, many Experts, military experts, and, pe and, and people from Syria. There are many people from Syria who are saying that ISIL's money is coming from the United States. Yes, there are many people from Syria, S true Syrian natives, not fake Syrian people, but true Syrian natives, ancestry, says that ISIL's money is coming from the United States. To get rid of Bashar Assad, President Assad in Syria. And that the United States could very easily get rid of ISIL in a matter of months. Instead, our military is being punished and squashed. Our U.S. military is being squashed and punished. Troops, our troops are, are, are being killed. Somebody is killing our troops. And there's somebody over here in the U.S. That's a shame. And that's why I, I'm a born-again Christian. I'm going to continue to pray. I will continue to pray and speak the name of Jesus. And I will continue to, to quote this scripture from the Bible. In Isaiah 54, 17, which says, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment is condemned. I will continue to believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. And these black pastors who allow uh, the government to shut them up, shame on you. Shame on you. You should have endorsed Donald Trump anyway and let God protect you. If, 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 if Obama or Obama's people or Valerie Jarrett tries to do harm to a child of God, to a Christian, number one, God's going to back that Christian up if their hearts are right. Because God's word says he will, his angels are encamped around about us and will keep us in all our ways. And number two, if they succeed in killing a Christian, that Christian will go to heaven, not paradise, heaven, not paradise, heaven. There is no paradise. There's heaven and there's hell. No paradise, heaven or hell. So you black pastors, lead, you black pastors who are supposed to be leaders, black pastors who are supposed to be leaders in the black community, you should not be afraid to express your First Amendment rights. What has the Democrats done for us? I want to support Hillary Clinton. I don't support abortion or the LGBT movement, and I never will. I was only supporting Hillary Clinton because she's a woman, and I know how women are treated in this world, not just in America, but all over the world. And I, I, I liked Hillary Clinton. But what has the Democrats done under Obama's administration? What have they done? 
What have Democrats done for black voters under Obama's administration? What? Name me one good thing. I'll wait. You can't tell me because he didn't, he didn't do anything to help black voters. And that's a shame because we put Obama in office. Black voters put Obama in office. And he looked back at us and did nothing for us twice. His election and his re-election. So you black pastors who are being afraid and being bullied, shame on you. Shame on you. Black pastors bullied by President Obama's administration and key Democrat leaders from endorsing Donald Trump's candidacy for 2016. Thank you for tuning into the Black Political Buzz Network. My name is Laurel and goodbye.